Jammu and Kashmir is permitted to fly its own state flag along with the national flag. Jammu and Kashmir also has a separate constitution which works under Article 370 of the Constitution of India. This is due to the state's special status under the Indian Constitution. For more than half a century, India and Pakistan have fought over Kashmir, a lush mountain region nestled in the Himalayas. Dodging artillery fire and a scupping rape or torture remains the daily reality of those living in Kashmir, but much of the rest of the world remains uninformed about this bloody conflict that could potentially escalate into a full-scale nuclear war. In 1947, the British partitioned its colonial property into the separate nations of Pakistan and India. At the time, Kashmir was the only state with the majority Muslim population, but Hindu leadership chose for the region to belong to India, a decision declared invalid by Pakistan. The United Nations called for the Kashmiri people to decide their own future, but years of violence and a relentless diplomatic tug of war have made this impossible. Divisions have gone deep and draw deadly results. Since the conflict began, it has claimed more than 40,000 lives by India's estimate, 80,000 by Pakistan's. Project Kashmir explores war between countries and war within oneself, while juxtaposing moving personal stories of Kashmiris who have never known a world without war. For some questions, the film reveals there is never just one truth. I would soon learn the security forces and the militants take who they want, they torture, and they kill. Caught in the middle are the people of Kashmir. More than 60,000 people, mostly innocent civilians, have died in the 15-year conflict. Half a million Indian troops are stationed in Kashmir, fighting Pakistani-funded militants who slip across the border to attack the troops but also to terrorize the local population into giving them shelter and assistance. While both governments talk of peace and reported world reveals that, on the ground, very little has changed. For the local villages life is a cycle of militant violence and government repression. The team arrive in Srinagar to find Indian police have just violently beaten a group of women who are protesting about the detention of two men and a woman for alleged links to pro-Pakistan militants. Two sisters tell Jordan that around 25 massed troops from a special operations group had burst in through the window and grabbed their father, mother and uncle. The children are terrified that their parents may join the 8,000 people who international human rights groups say have disappeared after being taken away by the security forces over the last 15 years.